Hey out there, Slot Car Land. How's everybody doing this fine Memorial Day weekend? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's getting to spend some time with family and friends and watching the Indy 500, the World 600, and even possibly the Monaco Grand Prix. So, big, big weekend of racing and hope everybody has a great weekend and doing fun. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get anything out last week, weekend. Had some issues uh, with the video I wanted to do, the car... I told you guys I wanted to do, find out what was going on with that TR3. I put it on the dyno. It did fine. No problems. No issues. Decided to show you guys how to clean one. Got it all done. Went to edit it. Had issues with the editing. And then also noticed that uh, um, you really couldn't see what I was doing. So I just I decided to toss it. And, and um, I was going to do something Sunday after I got back from Portland. Hope you guys caught all the race action. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and then my wife wrote me into doing something else, and I never got around to doing it. So, hopefully, hopefully the race action last weekend was enough enough for you guys last weekend. Um, hope you caught the, uh, walk around on Monday, the new, uh, parts bin episode on Wednesday. Hope you caught the wreck of the week on Thursday, and I uh, hope you guys caught the speed shot on, sa uh, today. It went up earlier this morning so um so i thought i'd come on today it'll be a double header weekend it'll be this video and there will be a bi-weekly feature car this weekend um i thought i'd show you guys what i picked up at the oregon invitational because i did have something that i picked up that's gonna be really cool for us to take a look at so um first off let's take a look at the cars we got um these are the cars we raced at the oregon invitational this one was mine they were all 68 camaros you had to draw for your body. I got this beautiful green one with the white stripes. I was hoping that if I pulled a green one, it was with white stripes because there was green with black stripes, and they were kind of hard to kind of hard to see. The chassis, of course, were TFXs, um, straight out of the package. I mean, you got them sealed in the package and got them out, and then started. We got it started tuning on them and stuff. Uh, Shaden got a really beautiful blue one with white stripes, and Elijah got a white one with black stripes. So, lots of fun. Had a great time. Um, gotta say, really didn't care for the format this year. Um, it, it, we're not, I'm not going to go into the whole thing, but I didn't really care for the format. I had a good day, though. Um, even though I finished 14th out of... We had 35 guys this year. Big group of guys this year for the Oregon Invitational. Um, uh, we ran... Basically, they put everybody in the computer, and you just... We went through the ro rotation three times, which really didn't make any sense because you raced the same eight guys all day long. Um, but nevertheless, out of 120 laps possible, I did 118. So I only missed two laps all day long. I can't complain about that. Um, Ron uh, uh, Constantine ended up winning it. He 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 spanked everybody this year. Ron did a great job. The right guy act. When it comes down to it, said and done, even though I didn't like the format, the right guy won the race that day because he was on fire. Did 120. He did all the laps that day, finished second in the over round, and then just blew him, all, blew him away in the, uh, in, the, in the A main. So, very cool. So, uh, something else I picked up from Aaron Carnes. I picked up two bodies. I picked up the 917... What do they call this one? The 917-10? Can't remember. The, the Can-Am car, I don't have this one. I have this one, but not mine's got the rounded edges on it, not the squared off ones like this one does. Whoop. So I picked up that one. And then I also picked up another one of the Porsches. This one doesn't have the hole in the hood. It is missing its window, but we can we can make new windows for it. So I picked up one of these as well. Not sure if I'm going to paint it. I might put some numbers on it, but I am think I might just leave it just the way it is and put windows in it and just put some decals on it and stuff. So that's pretty cool there. So now the other thing I got, really cool. Picked up, Scott had a whole bunch of sets on his back deck, and he went out there and said, anything on the back deck is free. I'm like, and then he took, and I, I you know, he's, I, I thought he was joking. He came back to me and said, no, everything out there is for free. So I stepped outside to see what it was. He had a bunch of sets out there. Saw this set, opened it, noticed the cars were in it. I'm not sure if all of the track is there. I'm going to have to take a look at that here down the road. But as long as the cars were in it, that's all I cared about, and they were. 
So we, I, I decided to snag this. I got us an accelerator, Aurora accelerator set for the channel so we can mess around with this and get this working and take a look at Aurora's very first attempt at a slotless set. So, really cool. This one is, uh, the box is dated from 1970, where did I see that? 1972. So very, very cool. The two cars that are in the set are the actual, what's pictured on the outside of the box. And the the uh, 4J car looks exactly like the car in the box, the number three. Uh, yellow, silver. This The car's in great shape. I mean, really good shape. So very cool there. And then if I remember right, this is a Chaparral. I can't remember the designation on this car. The wing is kind of screwed up. It's missed. One of the posts is broke. I'm going to have to hunt around for a proper wing for it, but outside of that, it, both cars are in great shape. So, very, very cool. I put them on the dyno, neither of them run, but we can work on that. As a matter of fact, next week's episode, we're going to be tearing into one of these and taking a look at these accelerators, talking about them a little bit, and see if we can't get one running. So, that'll be next week's episode. We're going to be working on one, an accelerator chassis to get it up and running, so... That'll be next week's video, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Had fun, like I said, great time. We had 30, like I said, we had 35 guys from about five states. This race is becoming big. Um, it's going to be fun. Hopefully next year we go back to the old format. Um, if not, then uh, we're going to have to have a conversation with them and say, hey, this isn't that fair. If you're going to do it this way, you need to mix up. The rotation before we run it through again and then mix it up again before we run it through the third time so you're not racing the exact same guys all the time so but uh that that's this week's uh, episode be on the lookout for the bi-weekly feature car tomorrow and uh just continue to keep on catching the shorts they're doing great great information uh this coming week will be uh tech talk tech talk tuesdays so uh be on the lookout for that short uh we're going to be talking about idler gears so be on the lookout for that and uh, don't forget about the walk around on Monday, the wreck of the week on Thursday, and the Saturday speed shot. And next week we'll be working in, looking into these uh, accelerator chassis to see if we can't get one of these babies running. So have a great week. Catch you tomorrow with the bi-weekly future car. And I'm out. Catch you guys later. Bye.